G'day everybody, I hope you're doing well. Well, as promised on my Instagram the other day, I would answer some questions for you on my YouTube. So here we go. Let's make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and get all your friends on there too and make sure you click that notification button so you can see all my videos that you're not missing out on anything. And what I'm going to do as well with the questions that we're getting, I'm going to actually put them up here so that you can see who they're from, all right? So keep an eye out for that. They're going to go right there. So keep an eye out for that, all right? The first one is from Chloe. And Chloe, all Chloe says is hello. Well, hello to you, Chloe. And I hope you are doing very, very well on this day today. Just Junior Privy asked, what was the school that I went to for primary school? Well, I grew up in Western Sydney, probably a couple of hours west of Sydney, the CBD back in the day, which is... Now we're talking 40 years ago, which was a long time ago. So let's just say I went to school in the western suburbs of Sydney. Thank you for that question. Taylor Hale. G'day, Taylor. Says that I'm such an inspiration. You know, I, I have a lot of people tell me this, Taylor, and I want to say thank you. Thank you to you and thank you to everybody that actually says and finds me an inspiration and, you know, all we can do is our best every day and we can be the people that we can be. We can't be anybody else. So, Taylor, I want you to be that inspiration by doing that as well, by being the best that you can be. Dunks Donuts. Oh, anyone that knows me knows that I, I loves donuts. And if you make them dunk, you better send me some, mate, all the way up here to Surface Paradise, buddy. Oh, yes. Just plain, don't need anything fancy, okay? Just plain old donuts. Yum, yum. How have you been, you living legend? Wow, Dunk. Thank you, mate, a living legend. You know, I think sometimes that we use that word legend and maybe even greatness very loosely and to be classed as a legend, you know, that really, uh, really makes me humbled, mate. And thank you so very, very much. The nutritionist night lifestyle, my dear friend, Jack Jack. Hello, Jack Jack. Do I miss the shanks? Yes, I do. Every single one of you. Tommy, Banana, Jack-Jack, T, Queen T, and of course my little assistant Ames. I miss you all and I hope you're all doing well and it won't be long before we can all get together and have some Dun Chow fun. Dun Chow fun, yes. You know I love that, right? <laughs> Nathan McQuillan. G'day, Nath. Your question. How are you so amazing non-stop? I'm not so amazing non-stop, mate, because we all need our downtime. And, you know, strangely enough, I also have my bad moments. We need those. A bad day doesn't last forever. And we don't want to be plain sailing because if we were plain sailing, we'd be going beep. And that's, you know, there's, there's no heartbeat there. So we need our good day, bad day, good day, bad day. That's our heartbeat, all right? Eva Rose has sent me a message. Will you reply to my text? Well, Eva, yes, I will. Sometimes we get too many of them and we have a bit of an overload, as you can imagine. I have some people helping me do my social media because it's just way, way too busy at times. And if we've missed yours, I'm very, very sorry. Maybe we could get you to send it again. All right, that would be awesome. Thanks, Eva, and we look forward to hearing from you. Fitness Ninja, sending positive vibes during these harsh times. Thank you. And I'm sending them right back to you, Ninja, right back to you. In fact, I'm sending them to everybody. We all need these good vibes at this very challenging time that not only Australia, but the globe is facing. Harper has asked, have I ever met anybody with the same disability? Yes, I have. A, a, a number of different people actually harps. There's a young man in Brisbane who has the same disability as me. At one of the Young Leaders Days uh, this year, there was a beautiful little girl by the name of Lily. And I can't confirm, but I'm pretty sure that even beautiful little Lily has the same disability as what I have. So we're overtaking the world. Watch out, hearts. Watch out. <laughs> Levi. Why did you decide to have a skateboard, not anything else? Well, Levi, I used to have a wheelchair. 
a very long time ago. Wheelchair to a skateboard because it was a lot easier. It was a lot easier to move about. It was a lot easier for me to take the board upstairs rather than leave the wheelchair downstairs. You know, people would actually steal and ride the wheelchair when I wasn't in it and stuff like that. So, but with my skateboard, I can take it everywhere with me. And even now today, it gets to come on airplanes with me. It goes in the overhead locker. It's a lot easier to put into cars. A whole variety of things, mate. Yeah, that's why I choose my skateboard. And thanks to my dear friends at Extreme Skate who uh, who look after me for all my skateboards. Georgia, how do you always stay motivated to keep going? As I said earlier, that we do have our down times, we have our quiet times, because you can't be up and raring to go all the time. You would burn out very, very quickly. But for me, whenever I think that I'm having a bit of a challenging moment, I just remember a lot of the other people that are worse off than what I am. And I know some people find that extremely weird that I say that, you know, you've got no legs, you've got half a body. How can there be other people worse off than you? Well, there are. There are a lot of other people worse off than me. Might not be physically worse off than me. People's attitudes might be worse than what I, I have. You know, people's mindset might be more terrible than what mine is. And then, of course, you've got the physical side of, th side of things. There are a lot of bodies a lot worse off than mine. I'm still able to do, to do a lot of things, and I really appreciate that and make sure that I try and keep myself in enough physical condition that I'm able to do these things all the time. So no matter how bad you think you are, Georgia, there is always someone worse off. William has asked, what is it like to roll around or ride around on a skateboard? He said, it looks like fun. William, it is fun. It is, but not just fun for me, it's a way of life. There are moments where I get to do some crazy things on it, absolutely, like going down hills and scaring people. I love that sort of stuff. And William said, go the Panthers. Oh, let's go. Nasty Cat sent a message and said that they find me perfect. Thank you very, very much. But I'm far from perfect. <laughs> Joey has asked, how do I feel by not having no legs? Well, Joey, the good thing about that is that my legs never worked from when I was born. So it's not like I had something and then it was taken away from me. Like for instance, if, uh, if someone goes blind overnight or loses an arm overnight, that is a lot bigger challenge for them to overcome than what it has been for me because I've learned to adapt my whole entire life. And I don't like having no legs. I love it because it's helped me make me who I am. Alexi says, hey. 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 <laughs> my dear friend, Claudia, or I call her Conchita, my sister from another mister in LA, in America. How am I feeling? Thanks, Conchita. Thank you for asking. I'm feeling okay. I've been in isolation now for two weeks since coming back from tour. Um, I haven't seen Leanne for almost six weeks. But you know what? We're all going to get through this. Well, there is a, a bright side not too far away. As long as we are listening to what everybody is doing, we'll be able to come back over and visit you and, and my brother Phil very, very soon. So please, too, can she just stay safe and... Give the puppies a pat for me, all right? We'll see you soon. David says hi. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Thomas sent me a message saying that he was one of the lucky ones to come up on stage and receive a $20 note from me. And he still has it today. Thomas, thank you. That means so much to me, mate. So much to me that you understood and you realised that you, my friend, just like everybody, is priceless. Absolutely priceless. So thank you, mate. Isabel, Isabel, who won the Name My Skateboard competition and called it Barry, has asked a question, how did I come up with the idea of riding a skateboard? Well, it came up from uh, a school teacher of mine who made me my very first skateboard. And it was just a simple roller skate actually with a bit of pine screwed to it and a sheepskin duct taped on over the top of it and now look how far i've come you know extreme skater sponsored me for for my manual skateboards i got evolved skateboards who 
look after all my electric skateboards for me. You know, I'm I'm very lucky and very fortunate now to be in the position that I'm in. And I, I've even had the opportunity to skate with my very dear, very, very dear friend, <coughs> Tony Hawk. What a legend that guy is, eh? Wow. Charlotte has asked, what do I do to keep healthy during this time? I have been a little bit sick over the last couple of weeks, so uh, my health has become extremely important, like it is always, but more so now. So it, it, unable to get out and exercise. In fact, I, I can't even exercise at the moment because I am unwell. So the doctor has sent me some antibiotics and things like that. So the best thing that we can do is, is eat relatively healthy, you know, um, and make sure that we stay on top of our medication to get the best out of us that we possibly can. Mr. Fish X has asked, am I handsome? Hell yeah, you know it. Mr. Handsome, Captain Hottie. <laughs> God, I am an idiot, really. I am an absolute idiot. <laughs> Just Rihanna's asked, how many schools have I been in and presented? And she was actually in one of them and loved it. So thank you. I would have covered four or 5,000 education systems around the globe. Um, and each one of them has been absolutely spectacular. Yusuf has also asked me, do I miss the footy season? Yes, I do. Absolutely. I miss watching the rugby league and I even miss the AFL. But what we are going through as, as a country, as a nation, as the globe, is a lot more important than sport. Uh, and I hope that once we get over it all and everything else is sorted out, It'll come back bigger than better than ever. Hey, my mate Taylor Harris. What a great AFLW this lady is. Wow, and, and a boxer too. She can fight. So, hey, never pick on Taylor Harris, let me tell you. What has been my biggest challenge and triumph in life? I think some of the challenges that I have, Tay Tay, are simple ones that people take for granted, like taking money out of an ATM or even using a public toilet. For me, they are huge, huge challenges and things uh, that, you know, to use an ATM, I've got to trust other people with my PIN number and, and my card and public toilets. You know, I have to lie down on the floor to go to the bathroom and man, some of these toilets, there's no way in the world. I want to ask you guys, would you lie on the floors to go to the toilets in these public areas? Ooh, no thanks. I don't have a choice, I have to. The triumph in my life, I think the triumph in my life is just living, living my life, doing what I can do every single day. This one comes from Jay High. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Can you follow me? Absolutely. If you have followed me, you send me a direct message, uh, then we will follow you back as well. Not a problem at all. Thanks, mate. Callum has asked, how am I enjoying isolation? Very quietly, mate. Uh, Netflix, Foxtel, uh, Amazon Prime, they're all getting a good workout because I'm home on my own. Um, Leanne's not here. She's up at our son's place. So I'm just chilling out. Right, we are all in this together and some people are in it deeper than others and need some help. So if you can, check up on people. Make that phone call, FaceTime them or whatever it is that you can do and just say hello. Just make that conversation with people. Young Ethan has asked, do I remember him? Do I remember signing his camo hat? Well, let me ask you, Ethan, is this you? I think it is you. And if it is, yes, I do remember signing your camo hat. If it's not you, who the hell is it? <laughs> well, that's it, guys. That's the round of questions that I've got. Thank you so very much. We will do it again. I am about to hold another competition uh, for you to win some prizes. So make sure that you keep an eye and an ear out for that. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get your friends to subscribe. Push the notification button so you don't miss out on any single one of my videos. I'm going to start uploading a lot more videos onto my YouTube during this isolation period just for you guys. So whether your parents or business people or students or even just friends, please subscribe, 
click the notification button and get your friends to subscribe too. Have a great day.